Okay, guys, what is up? Welcome back into the channel, guys. Um, today, we're going to be talking about um, Buddy Howell, who the Rams have activated from the practice squad. He's a running back. Um, basically, why they activated him is because we're still uncertain on where Daryl Henderson Jr. sits, whether he's going to a uh, play or not, we are still kind of um, uncertain in that. We don't know where he sits at that. Um, we don't know whether he's going to play or whether he's not going to play yet. Um, so, you know, he said yesterday in our press conference, or not yesterday, Friday that uh, Henderson was going to be a game time decision. Um, we talked a lot about um, yesterday. We talked a lot about it yesterday. Um, so we still don't know whether he's um, going to be playing or not today. We're going to have to wait a little while longer. Um, but. So, basically, Buddy Howell, um, he, um, so, obviously, McVay said, um, even if we do, even if Henderson is ready for the game, he's still not going to see very much time there. He's, we're basically activating him to have depth at that, um, position. We're basically activating him so we have depth at the running back position. So we don't have to worry about it because if Daryl Henderson Jr. can't play, then that only leaves us with two running backs in Sony Michael and Jake Funk. And if one of them gets hurt, then that leaves us with one. So we um, basically what basically Sean McVay just wanted to sign him to get him to have another person at that spot. To be able to have someone else at that spot. Um, so, um, yeah. But that's why we signed them, basically, to have some depth at running back. Um, uh, he, and, uh, he, Buddy Howell was originally signed as an undrafted free agent, uh, by Miami Dolphins after the 2018 draft. He was later cut on September 1st. And then he was picked up by the Houston Texans the next day. And then he got waived on August 31st, 2021. And then, um, exactly two years after being claimed by Houston, he was signed to the Rams practice squad September 2nd. Um, he played 45 games over the course of three seasons for Houston. He rushed 21 times for a total of 74 yards. He had 3.5 yards per attempt, um, which isn't that great, but, you know, it's basically just, he's basically just here, so we have an extra person at running back in case something happens, um, so we basically have him at running back in case something happens, we know. Because we know we're going to have um, Sony Michael and Jake Funk, which will probably... Um, if Henderson doesn't come back, Sony Michael will be taking a majority of the snaps. And what the snaps he doesn't take, um, Jake Funk will take. So Buddy Howell probably will not see any time whether Henderson comes back or not. He probably will not see any time and uh they also activated a uh, defensive back tyler hall for tomorrow so they also activated tyler hall so um so this is definitely going to be one of the most this is going to this is I feel like this is an interesting game of the week. This is going to be the closest game of the week. Um, and 
why well we've got Jalen Ramsey we have no idea who Ramsey is going to cover um, Ramsey could cover Gronk he could cover Mike Evans could cover Chris Godwin um, you don't have to worry about Antonio Brown because he tested positive for COVID-19 and basically the NFL says you have to have two negative COVID tests you have to have one wait 24 hours then get another one and then you can play again so he tested positive on like Friday I think or Thursday so that doesn't give him much time to make that happen so yeah so we know we don't know who um I feel like he's probably going to block he's probably going to guard Mike Evans but then that leaves Gronk open most of the time so we need to keep Gronk on, we have to keep him on lockdown. We have to keep Gronk on lockdown. We have to be able to allow him not to get very many yards today. Which is going to be really hard for them, but I feel like Darius Williams is probably going to guard Chris Godwin. Um, we'll probably basically need to double team Gronk every single play. But, um... So that's going to be interesting. Obviously, I think Ramsey will move around on who he's guarding. Um, I feel like he definitely will move around a lot on who he's guarding. Um, you know, because he's not playing one role now. We got him kind of a mobile role, so. Yeah, but um, you know, I'm also looking for our offense against the defense um especially our running backs against their d-line um because um they have a really really good d-line they have a really good pass rush um so um they held ezekiel elliott to just 33 yards in week one and mike davis to 38 yards in week two, so those are two good running backs to hold them back to under 40 yards. Um, so uh, I'm also looking for, I'm also looking at Cooper Cup versus Carlton Davis the third. Um, so we know he's he already has 271 receiving yards and three touchdowns on the year. He got two touchdowns last week. Um, last week he had nine receptions for 163 yards and two touchdowns. So that will definitely be an interesting matchup to watch because we know the Bucks do not have a very good secondary. Um, they they don't. We got Cooper Cup, Robert Woods. Um, Van Jefferson will probably be seeing a lot of time out there. Tyler Higby. So I think our tight ends and our wide receivers are going to be able to carry us to the win. But, um, yeah. That's all for today's video, guys. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time.